Ow, I look super tired. Super tired. Oh my gosh. Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the vlogs, and I know it's been a hot minute, and I really need to do an update video on what's been going on in my life, and why I'm in a different spot, and stuff like that, why I'm always moving around, stuff like that. Um, but I will save that for another video, because I do not want to bore you guys on this vlog. But in this vlog, I will give you guys a few updates on what has happened since I have moved back. Um, let me... Maybe I hate the yellow light in my room because it, it's it's bad. I have moved back into my parents and I'll explain more deep more deeply more deeply why I have moved back and um <clears throat> moved back into my parents' house and I still haven't even put stuff back in my walls because I'm actually moving into a different room in this house. And um, my lens is super dirty. And I will explain deeper why I moved back and stuff like that um in a more detailed sit down kind of more overall video. I've been here for about two months now. Two months? I've been back for about two months and um, I'm gonna throw on some shoes real quick because um, I'm going outside to show you guys some stuff. As many of you guys know, or as many as you guys know in the past vlogs at least, um, I I got a new job at Coca-Cola, so I've been doing that for the past, you know, six months now, I guess. So I got the job there, got the interview and stuff like that, and so I've been just saving up money and stuff like that, and I did make a new purchase, and I will show you guys what it is. Do you, what do you guys think it is? You probably, I probably just gave it away. And I also have a new project car coming for you guys. Um, I'll, I'll explain more when I get outside here. So due to recent events of new jobs and Coca-Cola and, and, and all that fun stuff, um, saving money is, is on my side, I guess. And um, I recently made a new purchase. And you guys, this is kind of like the grand reveal. It's a Ford Focus uh, 2014 hatchback. August 5th is when I got it, so I've had it for a minute. It's um, currently September um, 5th, or yeah, September 8th, so I've had it for almost a month. And don't mind the pizza boxes because last night was lit. So yeah, this is my new car, everybody. Um, so get used to seeing this, hopefully, in near a few vlogs or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is my new car. It's just a uh, automatic transmission because I wanted, I, I kind of wanted one with manual, but they didn't really have the options lined up for me. Um, so in automatic, technically it does create more power, but I'm not looking for power. I'm mainly looking for a commuter car because I drive a lot and with work and everything like that, I drive around the Colorado Springs, but it's a, a five seater, it's got a hatchback, so it's got a lot of room in the back. I can use this for trips, I can use it for family trips, um, and in the near future, or not the near future, but in the future, I can use it as like a family car, you know, if you know that happens any time soon. But I wanted to get on with the other project that I got going on here. Um, I started this project actually just yesterday. Um, I found out that um, my red Escort, because many of you know this, this used to be my car. Well, it still is technically. But recently, the engine had problems and stuff like that, and I had I had timing redone. I had few water pumps replaced on it. I've had um, everything basically rebuilt out of this thing. I got new wheels, as you guys know. And um, so I decided that I would look more into it and stuff like that. And I did a lot more research. Um, and basically, I found out that um, it's the PC or no, yeah, PCV valve, which is the positive crankcase ventilation. Um, I guess hose and valve and stuff like that. But what I found out, one second, I found out is it's actually the hose for the. I don't know if you guys know anything about cars, but the PVC valve or the PCV, PCV. Yeah, I know. I always get it confused with PV, PVZ, P. PVC valve, I always get that confused because PVC is a pipe and it's not, you know, PCV. So, a PCV valve hose, basically, I'll show you guys inside, but I don't know if you guys can see, let me focus right, right there. That is the PVC, or PCV valve, goodness. That's the PVC valve right there, PCV valve. And there's a hose that runs from here all the way around and it goes to the back. You probably won't be able to see it, but it goes in the back and it goes into the, um, the, I think it goes to the RPMs and stuff like that. But what I found out is 
that apparently, well, just like everything in a car, especially an old car like this, gets wore out and stuff like that. So the hose and the valve and everything like that were rotted away, cracked and stuff like that. And it's basically like a vacuum line. And if you guys know anything about cars, vacuum lines are almost as important as like spark plugs and stuff like that. They're pretty important. You have to have vacuum to create things and stuff like that. So that was all wore out. I ordered a new one. Haven't got it back yet. Um, I should be, I kind of want, I was gonna just go buy it at a part store, but I figured I'd do it right and actually order a specific part for it so it would actually fit right and stuff like that because I am actually going to keep this car. I'm not gonna sell it. I know I talked about selling it for a long time and um, I'm actually gonna turn it into a just a fun around uh, driving car, maybe a pavement track car. Um, we have a track here in, uh, in the springs here, uh, Pikes Peak International Raceway. They do like time attack stuff and there's a guy there that has a stock ZX2, exactly my car, um, exact year, same model, everything. And he actually holds the record for the time trials in his class, so it's pretty cool. So actually yesterday, I, um, uh, as you can see from the inside, maybe, brighten it up a bit, I stripped the whole back seat. All that's just trim and interior and stuff like that. I took out the whole back here, took out the ceiling. I'm gonna keep, I wanna keep the front um, pretty much the way it is now. I might take out some of the, the panels on the bottom. I wanna keep carpet up to where it is right now, so like that's gonna stay exactly how it is. I wanna keep carpet, I wanna keep the passenger seat. Um, so it's gonna look pretty much like it is now. I wanna take out that mirror and put a uh, racing mirror up there, screw it into the top there. And um, yeah, I, I'm gonna take out the speakers though. I'm probably gonna take off these panels. I'm not sure though. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below on what you guys think I should do with it. Um, if I should just, um, keep everything up front, just, you know, bone, like the way it came off the factory, or if I should take it all out. Um, I wanna take out the airbags, but I don't know um, what the deal is with the um, the racetrack there, because I don't know, since I don't have a cage, and since I don't have like, you know, harnesses and stuff like that, I can actually race it, because it's not with other cars and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know if they're, their rules or whatever you have to have airbags in your car or what what that deal is but um yeah so i got some projects planned going on but so stripping out this car i'm gonna make it just kind of a like a, a joy like a, pretty much a go-kart um you know messing around with uh you know friends and stuff like that you know going to the track um maybe just you know messing around on dirt roads and you know you know you know what we do out here but it's super hot out for i guess it's like early September so it's not like that big of a deal but it's a beautiful day we got haze from you know I don't know if you can see the haze a little bit you can kind of see it like right over there but we got haze from Utah California Montana Wyoming Idaho you know we just got haze from everywhere and I know it's been a while since you guys have been back at my parents house I want to start doing stuff like fun for the vlogs because I know I one haven't vlogged in like a long time and my vlogs get kind of boring after a while but I just figured this kind of update video and uh, I'm gonna try to, I don't know, do something today. I'm gonna go get food, because I'm hungry. But all, it kinda sucks when my day's off for Thursday, Friday, because some of my friends are still like, either in college or, okay, we're, we're gonna adjust this real quick, there we go. Um, either in college or school or, you know, working, stuff like that, you know, everybody has their own schedule and all that lame shamanigans. So, um, I can't really like hang out with anybody. Um, I kinda can, I guess. But, um, yeah, the hose here. So, this is the hose that goes around. This is just this black part right here. This is just insulation so this doesn't melt. This is the actual hose. Um, the ho This plastic hose is actually in great shape. It's just the connectors that went on the end right here. As you can tell, they're broken off in two different spots right here. Um, <clears throat> So there was like a big hole, um, you know, there's big cracks like as you can see in that one. And then there's a big old hole right in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, there's a big old hole in there. And it basically, it was at the end of its life and so I mean, it was kind of bound to happen anyway. Um, but I mean, I'm hopefully, hopefully this is the only thing that's wrong with it. Um, if it is, then I'm definitely gonna keep it. I wanna keep it stock want to, that's the idea, um, because just when you put aftermarket products into it and stuff like that, just more shit to deal with. Also, as you guys know, I always have been in this room. Um, this room, I actually just got out of bed, so don't hate, okay? Don't hate. Um, 
which is kind of bad because it's like one o'clock and I just got out of bed, which is sad. But anyway, so I've been in this room for my whole life, basically, and um, I'm actually moving into my sister's room right here. As you can see, it is all packed up pretty much because as you probably know, my sister's down in college down in Texas, so she's rarely ever home, only pretty much during the summertime. So my parents were like, well, why don't we just give you the big room because I have all the computer stuff and technology and studio and my mom uh, left this morning early, early, early to go down to Houston to help out with the Hurricane Harvey um, stuff like that. Uh, the Hurricane Harvey flood stuff like that. And if you guys are in Florida or Houston or whatever, prayers go out to you guys because um, I'm chilling up in Colorado, you know, tornado, hurricane, rain, you know, flooding free. And uh, so if you guys are affected by that, I hope you guys are all right. And um, I know I have never been a part of a natural disaster of any kind. The only flooding we've had here is when our road was washed out. That's, I hope you guys are doing okay down in Florida and wherever else is gonna go, I guess North Carolina, I guess, or South Carolina is kinda part of that. Um, but Houston, Texas, Louisiana, um, you know, just places like that. Um, hope you guys are doing okay. And um, let's get into this day. All right, guys, so I'm gonna clean out my car real quick because it looks like crap and I don't want to have a crappy car on the vlog because I'm that type of person, that type of YouTuber, you know, I just I just like my shit clean. Um, so being working for Coke, I eat out a lot, almost too much, I think, and um, you'll, you'll just see how much trash I'm pulling out of here because it's kind of nasty. But yeah, so... Um, I'm gonna clean up my car real quick, so time lapse. Cue the time lapse. Let's go. I know people that said I would never make it here. I know people talking think that I don't over here. I know people that be fake was the puppeteer. I know God with me though, so I don't ever fear. I know people that said I would never make it here. I know people talking think that I don't over here. I know people that be fake was the puppeteer. I know God with me though, so I don't ever fear. Oh yeah. Okay, well, as you can tell, I just love my car so much. Actually, it wasn't that bad. I just mainly had trash and stuff from, you know, just, yeah. Just, I gotta get inside and get my phone charger because I don't have, like, multiple phone chargers. Because I literally think I have every single phone charger to mankind now. And, but yet, somehow, I don't have enough to have one in my room and my car at the same time because iPhone, you know, Apple, if you're listening to this, you need to fix the game, man. You need to fix the game. That's true, though. You can go to a gas station. Oh, I need to get a phone cord. Oh, let me use it. Oh, by the way, this one's shit. It doesn't work with iPhone because iPhone is crappy because they don't freaking... They don't allow um, third-party... Uh... Okay, it is hot. I can't talk <laughs> that fast. Um... They don't allow third-party chargers to work with iPhone because iPhone want is greedy and they just yeah. I need to turn on AC. It's so hot. It's so hot. Guys. Um. But no, seriously, I'm actually gonna go clean my car because it needs vacuum for one because there's dirt everywhere and it's kind of in the break of summer. So like there's like that break before you know the snow comes and the cold comes that I can actually wash my car. You can see sweat just oozing off my face. Um. Yeah, grab them shades, because it's a hot mofo today. Yeah. Um, I didn't buy, bring another battery. I probably should go find another battery, because my vlog camera's about to die. Okay. Let's get down to business. I don't have no time to play around. What is this? What's the circus in town? We shut the shit down on these clowns. Then I got a witness. Hell yeah. Let's get down to business. I don't have no time to play around. What is this? All right, so the plan is I'm going to go get food, like ice cream, probably like a slush of some sort, like Sonic or something, because it is hot. It is 84 degrees, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I'm gonna go there and get some slushy, because I like my slushy, because I don't know if you can see on my back window. Yeah, exactly. You can't see out of it, because it has so much dust on it. Um, that's The hazards, the struggles of living on a dirt road are so real. I, well, you remember Jake, Jake and his brother, Dream Hack is going down up in Denver, um, October, into October. I know, I know the exact dates, but it doesn't it doesn't matter to you guys because it don't matter. And um, so it's going down end of October. I took time off already. I got it off. We got tickets. We got VIP passes, ladies and gentlemen. So we gonna be there. Um, 
So if you see me there, hit me up, um, or just say hi or something, I don't know. Um, because I'm gonna be there, Jake's gonna be there. Yeah, just, just pull out in front of me, it's okay, I'm just cruising here. I'm just cruising, and I'm just, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me at all. Just driving here. Just driving. Just driving. Um, now, I gotta, now I gotta redo focus. Goodness gracious, does he not know the vlog life? We're gonna be a dream hack Denver um, into October. Um, so if you see us there, say hi. Um, you know, just the general GS. So be looking forward to some vlogs there. Um, we're gonna be gaming like crazy. We're gonna be doing some fun stuff. Uh, so that'll be up in the end of October. Hopefully I can get some vlogs up between now and then um, to kind of keep you guys interested. It's kind of funny as I'm driving down these country roads, uh, this is just a side note, like my camera, like it's not massive at all. It's not. I mean, you know, it's only got a, a Rode Mic Pro, which is actually bigger than any of the other Rode Mics that you know, a lot of YouTubers use, you know, the little tiny ones. So, I mean, you know, it's not like I have a huge mic on my camera and then a DSLR with a giant tripod on it. But, when I'm driving, people, like, they're going the other way, you'll just see their eyes just like, be like, what? What? Or, I mean, I don't know if they notice at all or something, I don't know, maybe I'm just some weird, weird dude that just walks around with the camera all day. So, it's like almost rare if we ever get construction on this road, because it's like just so far out here. But, look at, look at what they got going on here. They got a little cone man up there. What's up, cone man? Well, he's actually technically called Flagman, but yeah, we got cones going. Fancy, smancy. Welcome to Sonic, my name's Sabrina, what can I get for you? Yeah, can I just get a uh, number 10, medium? Any side injury? Yeah, can I get that with a uh, cream slush, cherry cream slush? Okay, which extra fries or tater tots? Uh, fries. All right, what else can I get for you? Uh, that should do it. All right, it's gonna be 977. Okay, thanks. I'm all about them cream slushes, ladies and gentlemen. All about them. They are delish. All right, so I'm in the car wash now. I do my car washes by hand just so I can like, like non-contact. I hate the ones that, I don't know. Those ones are just so scary to me because I don't know if like, you know, it's gonna hit my car or you know, something like that. I mean, you know, they're pretty accurate, but just, I'd rather do it on my own because then I can get what I want, you know, to wash and stuff like that. Are you mine? Are you mine? Do you mind? If I ask you politely, go do you have the time? I was down the ride, like all the time. But you were sly, yeah. What a sly. Are you mine? Down the ride, it's alright, yeah. Do it right, yeah. Moving from the left, yeah. To the right, do it right, yeah. Do it right. I knew the senorita. Mm -mm. Look at how good it's looking. It's so beautiful. Uh, I was gonna vacuum out my car, but I realized I ran out of quarters. So what I should have done is use my card on the car wash and then use the rest of the quarters on yeah the vacuum. But I'll just I'll just do it when I get home. It's not that big of a deal. It's just that I like their industrial type vacuums, you know, because it has a little bit more suction and I just don't have to empty it out and clean it and stuff like that. All right, I am back home. I'm gonna start working on my, stripping the interior on my car. I gotta finish up a bunch. I mean, there's always, there's, cars are never any products, just FYI, ladies and gentlemen. Cars never, never, never change, ever. Um, so I'm actually gonna work on that right now. And it's kinda gonna be hard to vlog, but I'll like try to pick up the camera every now and again. It's just that uh, it gets so freaking hot in that car. Now that I took out all the insulation and everything out of it, it's like 100 degrees hotter than it needs to be. Oh yeah, just just feel the heat come out. But I need, for one, I need to sort off all the trash and all the stuff I'm gonna keep, because I might want to keep some of it in case, because this is all I got right in here. It's on the trunk. Um, but my main project today is gonna be mainly cleaning up the inside, like where all that stuff is. I might paint it. Um, which could be a very bad idea because it's such an enclosed area. 
I'd probably have to leave the doors open for it to dry and stuff. But I'm gonna clean it all out. Take. I'm gonna try to get the seat belts out. Um, I don't know if you can see them down there. They're right over there. Um, try to get those out of there. Um, just so it's just less stuff to, I don't know, have, I guess. And, um, and I'm gonna be hot because I don't have shade to work in. I don't have a shop to work in. I don't have... <sighs> Kinda sucks, but I can just feel the heat like running out. I'm gonna start unloading all this shit out of the trunk and um, putting it in the shed here. I'm gonna try to keep it kinda organized because I obviously don't just wanna like throw it all in there and have it all just everywhere. So I gotta find a spot for that. And this wing, I need to do something about this wing. Either put it back on there after it's all gutted or just, I don't know. I don't know because I already have all my stuff because I still technically haven't full moved in. So it's like all the stuff that is from my old house. Um, but I don't know where I'm gonna put all of the issue yet. Um, yeah, so car stripping begins now. So I've already started, well, I've already took out all the trim that I took it out. Um, so this is what it looks like overall um, from the back side. So it's pretty much pretty much all empty back there. Um, I did take off this door panel just to see what it looked like. And I'm starting to take off that trim up there. I don't know if I want to um, keep just like a whole, just the front basically as it is keep it you know I took out the radio and stuff like that just because it's kind of pointless um, and other shenanigans I left in but I want to know what your guys opinion is but um, I think I'm just gonna put that door trim back on because I like just how clean you know it looks up front but then in the back you know it's all gutted out and I'm not, I'm not too worried about the ceiling here um, but I would just like to have it nice and clean and stuff up front just so that it just I don't know because I don't want it to be like a totally gutted car I guess keep the console out of here just because it can get in the way um, and stuff like that so I'm gonna just move um, all this out I'm gonna clean it up a bit because it looks like shit because all the nastiness everywhere but um, yeah so I'm gonna keep this little compartment here I took out the radio um, here just and then I'm gonna put all the climate control stuff back. I mean, it just needs the knobs, but um, I'm just gonna keep the climate control stuff just like the way it was. Um, <clears throat> so the front's basically just gonna be like that, just without a radio, because I don't really need a radio, because it's not like I'm driving it anywhere, just racing it around and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna work on cleaning up the back end, um, out of the back, getting all that <clears throat> good to go, because there's dirt and grime and nastiness, and I'm gonna paint it. I want it all just to be the same color. Um, so I'm just gonna take a rattle can to it eventually. Um, I am eventually gonna change out the steering wheel from the stock one, um, just for looks and cape, like, I don't know, comfortability. And um, hopefully I'll, I'll give you guys an update when I'm done or getting close to done. Okay, so I'm in the process right now. I got everything back on there. And I think it looks a lot better. Just, it looks more clean and stuff like that up front. You know, it looks like a normal car from, you know, from here. And then, you know, you, you go to the back. But what I did now is I scraped out all that foam stuff and now I'm gonna sand, um, just get touch it up and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do like a deep um, sand at all. Um, I'm just gonna get all well, the top, kind of like the, just the top coat on and then I'm gonna wipe it down with um, acetone and sand this real quick, hopefully before it rains because there's some, looks like there's some rain clouds coming. Um, hopefully I can get that done. And then uh, it'll be gutted, and then I just gotta wait for that hose and valve to get here, and uh, we'll have an official, pretty much, uh, little go-kart car. All right, guys, I just got the first coat of paint done inside of the trunk. Yeah, this is how it turned out. It's actually not too bad. That's just the first coat. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's just the trunk. I'm not even too worried about it. I mean, I'm just make, basically making it kind of the same color as the outside, you know, but I'm not too worried about, you know, Getting, if I really wanted to, I would have got rid of all the that this ring stuff and all the different stuff. But eventually, I'll just you know spray over it, um, and it'll just go back to just the glossy red. But that doesn't look too bad for now. Um, you can still see a little black over there, but that'll soon cover up. But it does look a lot better than this, just crappy red. You know, I just gonna be done with this today, and then uh, continue it up um, tomorrow or my next weekend or after work it's another day so I'm just gonna end the vlog right here um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me um, and kind of update because I know it's been kind of weird um, recently with 
everything that's been going on, moving back and everything like that, and I haven't been uploading in a while because it took me a long time to get my computer set up. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm gonna end it right here in the shed, and um, I hope you guys catch me back again next time, and hopefully my car will be done and running, and I uh, will hopefully be messing around with my car. So I uh, will see you guys later. Peace out. I know people that said I would never make it here. I know people talking think that I don't over here. I know people that be fake, was the puppeteer? I know God with me though, so I don't ever fear. I know people that said I would never make it here. I know people talking think that I don't over here. I know people that be fake, was the